microphone, check microphone. Just kidding. I stumbled across a JDM custom build. I picked out an i3 Nissan truck. I decided to do the whole front end conversion. Shave, roll cage, suspension, the works. Not just a wheel swap. And it's due like in three days. Peace. Check, check it, E1. So here's the 83, wait, 93 Nissan. What? Just to check. So you just saw on that Facebook post, I have one week to customize a Japanese or JDM truck. This is what I chose. About to get drilled. Uh, I'm thinking about wide body, get rid of all the graphics, completely shave everything. Get rid of these wheels, the wheels are hideous. I do dig the paint job, but do something better than this. We'll see where it goes. Usually when I start building something, it gets a little out of hand. Alright, don't mind the mess. I got a lot of shit going on. So, I got the truck back it's stripped. I'm gonna shave it. Got a little idea for the front. Plan on doing a 71 Skyline, the GTR front grill. This is a little wider, so I'm gonna see how I could fit that. Alright, that idea went to shit. I had the M2, the Skyline front end, the grill actually. It really didn't do shit, it looks stupid. Just let me add it on here real quick. This that looks real stupid. So my thing is I'm gonna probably chop this whole front clip. Probably chop this whole front clip as well. Chop off the front end of the Nissan with the jeweler's saw blade. Takes forever, but it does a nice cut. Sick. That was fun. I had to come into the layer and pull out box says I need I need this. Alright, let's try this again. Front fenders shaved. That way we could actually tuck. Also have the rear panels shaved. That way they also tuck. And then I have to do my my fenders, my white body, shaved at the handles, tailgate. Adapt the body to it, the front clip. See how that goes. Alright, guys, poxy still. It's putty. <clears throat> we have the steel putty on here. Damn, you can't see. Of course, it looks like shit right now because it still needs to be sanded, but it's pretty even. The inside as well. Well, here it is the next day. I already took a Dremel to it and grinded down the putty. But it's solid. It's straight. It's exactly what I wanted. Now I gotta work on the fender flares. 
do the moldings and then clean this up the door handles you still have the, the body line or the little groove going in through here shave that off styrene sheet fender flares Somewhat trimmed away, almost finished product minus the putty. Got rid of all that. All right, well, it's Saturday morning, and what a disaster. This putty has not dried. It takes forever to dry. I started sanding it, and it just, you can see there's moisture still in there, it's still wet. The whole back, still all wet. And remind you. Shit. Oh, great. I got freaking JB all on my phone. It's Saturday, 9.39. This is due tomorrow. I'm thinking. I think it's, you have to officially submit your photos tomorrow. Another thing, my front end just broke off right now. So I said, screw it, and I just went with the lifesaver, JB Weld, JB Weld, and some Max Cure glue. I have it setting right now. You can see in there. You won't see that. It's not a big deal. So now we gotta do what we got going on. I'm doing a front splitter. Same material as a wide body. It's cool because I have this extra front clip that I'm not gonna use, so I could modify it and cut it. Cut it just a little bigger. I can modify it. And there you go. And then for supporting rods, I have. Oh, these are too big. Wow, these might work. Not too big. These aluminum tubes, 1 16th, should be perfect. And there you have it. Custom front splitter. Perfect. Oh yeah, these are perfect. There you go. Supporting rods. Axles. So how a proper mini truck should be. Fully shaved. Tailgate fully shaved. Tail lights fully shaved. All the lines fully shaved. Fender flares. Both sides. 
Now the next part's gonna be sanding all this shit, which is not fun. Front end, it's holding up. All right, there it is. Oh, here's a rough sketch of what it's gonna look like. Of course, the roll bars, roll cage. Not on there yet, but completely shaved the back. I did away with the putty and just decided to shave it. The sander. Front ends on there. The fender flares are, are sanded down. Yeah, it looks like shit right now because it's not primered. The wing is not on there yet, but kind of an idea what, what I'm going for. I was going to put a rear engine in the back, but then that's going to take up more detail and more time, which I don't have. It is currently 3.18, Saturday. I'm trying to rush. Then I got windy outside, right when I'm a paint, of course. Converted it to a right hand drive. Once you were darkness, but now the more. Alright, the truck has been sitting outside in the sun. The sun's gone. So I turned to this. Decals are decals. Decals are going on. Already detailed the front. Use this liquid chrome pen. Put the compressors in the back. Also drilled out the holes for the oil line. So trucks decaled, carbon fiber hoods laid on. Painted, got a damn fingerprint on here, but it's all right. Well, I haven't been recording lately, but um, doing some axle tubes. That where the axles sit. Bending some brass tubing. Actually, cutting. Just spin this around. Just keep on doing that, and it'll cut off eventually. But anyways, roll cage on. Front. Lip is on with the splitters. I mean the splitters and the rods. Oil cooler and the lines on. We're almost ready to go. Hopefully, just trying to get the wheel fitment perfect. Yeah, the mirrors to the fenders. A couple of things. We're good to go. Photo shoot in progress. Finished product. I'm not happy with it. I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough time to let the paint cure, so I have some fingerprints, and I dropped it. And there's a lot of little imperf a lot of imperfections. Front splitters installed, oil cooler line, wide body, skyline front end conversion on a Nissan. I want to say hard body, but full roll cage. Fully shaved, convert it to right hand drive, did some axle tubes, and there it is, so wish me luck, see how this goes. First build's done. It's already sealed in the case up here. Second build is uh, American car or truck. And I still can't decide which one to build. I don't know if I should make this a street rod, oh, right here, street rod, wheelie, or a street rod, Nova wagon, or just go out full out and make them a gasser. This would be amazing gasser. Both of them would be amazing gassers or street rods. Not sure if I want to tub them or put the, the straight axles on them. They're already stripped. Let's see if this would be a street rod, I'd probably chop it like a Boyd Cunningham 
style, real sleek, shaved. But then again, gassers are amazing as well. All right, here's a quick recap on the the Chevy wagon. I already painted it. Uh, white primer. What is this? Uh, like a teal blue. Threw a little brown in there. Started sanding off to bare metal where I want it to be rusted. No chop or anything on this frame. Rear differential. The dually setup, straight axle, the engine with the headers, spark plug wires, copper fuel lines, about. You might think not a lot of effort goes when you rust one of your cars, but Trust me, I've stripped it twice and I, I painted it gloss seaside and I sprayed it with the sand. Then I rusted it, then I sanded it, then I did the same thing over again. Then I got some testers orange. And then I sprayed this onto the cat. Yeah. dabbed it with the paintbrush. Right now where we're at is just sanding all the extra like little dabs that I did. Just blending it in to the rust. Of course I still need to sand a lot more but let's get in there. I thought I'd film this before I seal it up. Suspension. Roll cage. Ladder bars, somewhat of a connection to the pro cage and a sway bar, rear sway bar. Project. It's gonna be fully shaved, street rod, it's already stripped, drilled. Stay tuned. And I cleaned my bench and reorganized my shelf. Mm -hmm. 